In this video, we're going to walk through five deadly mistakes keeping you from high paying music clients. So this is going to be a really important video. There's going to be a lot of really applicable information that I'm going to want you to take down. So if you don't already grab your notebook, grab that cup of coffee, let's get started. So before we go, just want to tell you a little bit about me just so you get context as to how I can even help you. So I started doing music back 2011, was only able to write and record, had trouble releasing music because I was limited on skills. I had trouble growing a fan base and making money. But then what I did was I learned music production on my own on YouTube. I made it work, but it took me four hours a day of watching videos, practicing for four years straight to get great at producing and basically just trying to grow my business. What ended up happening is really cool. I've gotten a lot of my songs to do really well. And these are all songs that I fully produced. And so I'm really proud of these. But not only that, I've actually been able to make a full-time income with my music, and that's what you're here to hear about today. Um, for context, January 1st, 2023 to June 30th, 2024, made over $167,000 from my music business, Rapid Fire Music Academy. Uh, that's where we teach songwriters and recording artists how to become their own producers and how to start making a full-time income with their music. So that's what's happened here, and it's come from landing high-paying music clients. Uh, for even further context, just in the first six months of 2024, January 1st, 2024 to June 30th, uh, I've made over $90,000, in fact, $92,000. So I don't say any of this shit to brag to you. I obviously just want to show you this so you know that you're actually listening to someone who can help you land high-paying music clients. So without further ado, let's get started. Mistake number one is charging for your time. Now, I'm going to read you a quote from a book I really love. Um, the quote goes like this, rich people choose to get paid based on results. Poor people choose to get paid based on time. That's by T. Harv Ecker in The Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. Great book. Look, basically, you only have a limited amount of time. Think about it. So charging for time limits the amount of money you can make because you only have a limited amount of time, but you have an unlimited amount of value that you can offer somebody. So there's truly no limit if you just charge by the value. So an example would be like this. Let's say if I could tell you how to make six figures with your music in a one hour call. If in one hour I was like, hey, I'm gonna literally show you from wherever you are right now to getting to 10K a month with your music or even beyond that, and I could do that in one hour, how much is that call truly worth? It's really hard to put a number on it, right? I couldn't even come up with a number, for example, right? Um, another example, he uses this in the book. I'm just kind of going off the cuff here. It's not on the slideshow, but he talks about like the difference between someone who sells a product and someone who sells like a service for money. If you're in the pen business and someone wants to order, a company wants to order 50,000 pens, it's cool. You call up the supplier, you pay for the pens, the pens get shipped out, you make the money, it doesn't cost you any extra time. But if you're, let's say, a chiropractor or a massage therapist and 50,000 people line up at your door to want to get a massage and it takes an hour each, you wouldn't even be able to fulfill everybody, right? So that was mistake number one is charging for your time rather than charging for value. Mistake number two is not having a unique offer. This is going to be a huge key. So your offer is the key to your wealth. The offer is what you provide to someone in exchange for money. Simple as that. So if you can create an offer that's so good that the perfect person feels stupid saying no to, then you can charge a high amount for it. When I say the perfect person, what I mean by that is this. If you're going out, let, let, let's say you're a pop producer and you find an artist who wants to make pop music and they need a producer um, and they don't want to produce themselves. If you have an offer that's so great for that specific person and they feel like kind of dumb saying no to it, then you can charge a high amount. The problem is so many musicians have such unappealing offers. For example, just beats. Just beats isn't, it's not cool. You can go on beat stars and find millions of beats. You can go on YouTube, millions of beats. These days, it's not even that hard to make beats. I teach people how to make beats. So beats just on their own, that's not a good offer. Recording time. That's again, that's you charging for your time, which we talked about in mistake number one. But again, people can record music on their own at their house. They don't need you in your studio. Okay. Um, mixing and mastering services. There's a lot of mixing mastering services. There's tons of people that you can hire to do mixing mastering services. Okay. An album, just an album just an album. I mean, I've sold albums before, so I've done it and artists do it. Merch, concerts. These are all ideas of, they're, they're just not unique. They're just not unique. I'm not saying you can't sell these things. You can sell, and I've sold all of these things before. I just haven't been able to charge a high amount for them, 
right? But taking some examples of great offers, how about custom song production? You know what I mean? You offer an exclusive beat, mixing and mastering, all of that. It's an all-in-one stop and shop, right? Um, or I'm sorry, one-stop shop. Then what if you offer exclusive bonuses on top of that? What if you also say, hey, I also can do the cover art for the song? What if you offer video trainings? What if you offer a private community like my client, Ange, right? This is a really, really, uh, really cool idea here. I'll, I'll show you, uh, show you her. So like my client, Ange, you know, she used to take three months to make a song and then she got two songs done in eight weeks and then landed seven custom production clients in the first 30 days and now does 4k a month. But what her, and I'm going to talk about her a little later, but her offer is uh, custom, exclusive, unlimited rights, mixing, mastering. She also does a video training on how to properly record vocals at home. And she has a Beats by Ange community where all of her clients get to be there. So it's really cool, unique offer. Um, and then two artists that I love, La Russell and Mike. La Russell does pay what you want for all of his stuff. And I was just at his Pergola show this past weekend. It was amazing. It's all pay what you want offer based. So the the actual items are unique. He does notebooks. Obviously, he sells CDs, tapes, vinyls. He sells a lot of the typical artist stuff, but it's but it's his stuff, and it's unique in his way because he has a unique brand, and it's also unique because it's pay what you want. I actually just signed up for his membership service too. Like you have a membership where it's got exclusive content, and I just signed up for it to pay him monthly, and that's really cool. So that's that's unique. Oops. And then Mike, Mike Stud, he also has a membership site called Only Steves. So it says Only Steves is the only place to get early access and exclusive content. So with the membership for both La Russell and Mike, they actually have exclusive content and exclusive songs. And I think also with Mike, he has a podcast called the You Never Know podcast, and he has exclusive episodes that he only puts on here. Um, so yeah, um, exclusive behind the scenes content live streams from the studio at Stevenson Ranch is like where he goes. Uh, or that's like the name of his house. So anyway, the point is these two guys have unique offers. So coming up with a unique offer, whether you're a producer or an artist is critical to being able to actually scale a music business. Okay. Mistake number three, ineffective marketing. Okay. This is one of the biggest mistakes I've seen. So basically, you know, it's if you're focused on views rather than sales. And it's also like, this one's kind of obvious and it's kind of funny, but I wanted to put it here. The actual video quality, like the quality of the video, meaning like the phone quality or the camera quality is literal doo-doo. Like, I don't know why people actually still do this, but like literally your video looks like shit. Like the quality looks really bad. Or it's like a video of you smoking weed in the studio. Like, dude, you're so like... Bro, like, I don't even know. Like, I, I don't think you watching this is one of those people, but like, I know I've seen those people and I'm like, you're literally a dumbass. I don't fucking understand it. Um, But the other thing is you're not providing anything valuable. It, that Dude, like, you're just all about you or it's all about you rather than being about the people watching. You have to provide, I don't know why this is so fucking funny to me. It's funny to me because people don't fucking do it. You have to provide content to people that they will take and be like, oh, that actually helped me. Not just like, yo, new music coming out or yo, watch me smoke weed in the studio thinking I'm hella cool. You look like a fucking clown, bro. So ineffective marketing. Your content must do one or all of these things, educate, entertain, or inspire. So when you have content that's actually doing any of these three or all three of these things, that's a big ass deal. That's what you need. You only need to do one at a time, but you can do two at a time or all three. These are the three things you need though. Educate, entertain, and inspire, okay? Mistake number four is not having a systematic marketing process. Let me explain exactly what this is. We're gonna go into a, into Canva and I'm gonna basically show you, I wonder if I can go, yeah, there we go. We're gonna go full screen with this. Oh, never mind. We'll just go right here. So essentially, this is, um, this is like, the music marketing funnel that I've come up with. I mean, a funnel is not a new concept, but this is kind of just how I explain it. And I'm probably gonna make a separate video on just this, but having a systematic marketing process. What I mean by that, and I'm not gonna go deep into every single one of these, but top, middle, bottom, fulfillment, ascension. The top of the funnel, that's marketing, that's getting people to see you, that's having eyeballs on you, and that's the first exposure that people have with you. 
And you'll see that I have like a little red line here because the music industry overall pretty much stops here, right? Like most of the music marketing gurus that you watch on YouTube, um, the music marketing agencies, they all just talk about top of funnel, more views, more streams, um, things of that nature. They don't actually talk about the next part, which is middle of funnel, which I put a little message emoji here because this is where you're actually communicating with your fans and your possible customers. This is where you're nurturing the relationship with them. They're seeing your content more than once. They're seeing you multiple times. Nurturing people, because what it is, there, there's, there's, I think, who put out this study? I want to say, I believe Google might have put out this study where I, I heard this from Ravi Abuvala, the 7 11 4 rule that people need to watch, consume seven hours of content um, across 11 touch points on four different platforms. And the that just alone, knowing that, knowing that people need to consume a specific amount of content and have a specific amount of touch points over different platforms, you can actually, you can actually craft that entire thing. You can build that. Instead of just like posting for luck, you can actually deliberately craft that entire experience from the moment someone sees you to actually them being nurtured by your content over and over. You can craft that experience. Then going down to the bottom of the funnel, which I put the, the, the dollars here, this is where you make money. This is where you conduct sales. And 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 this is, what do a lot of, produ I mean, for example, I'm gonna use producers as an example. What do you do? New beat available, $20, $30 if you want it, click the link in my bio. That's weak as fuck. Or being like, yo, send me an email, I'll send you my rates. What the fuck is that? That's fucking bogus. That's weak as fuck. Artists also, just posting, like new albums out now, buy it. New album, link in bio, go click the link. It's stupid. It's like, bro, no. You need to have a way where you can talk to people one-on-one -on -one and nurture them and convert them deliberately. Meaning you don't just leave it up to chance for them to buy from you. You need to actually talk to them to do that. And this is how you're able to charge more money. Like when you're able to charge someone 500 to 3K or 5K, 500 to 5K, if you get on a call with somebody it's so much easier for them to pay you over the phone a lot of money. You're not going to get someone to pay you necessarily three, five K over DMs. You might be able to, or just like you posting about it. But when you can get someone on a call where you're ta first talking to them via email or chat and then having a call with them, it's so much easier to get them to pay you a lot of money for whatever it is you do, whether you're an artist and you want to sell them something exclusive or you're a producer and you want to sell them a custom package or something. And then fulfillment is you fulfilling on that promise, as simple as that. Um, we could dive so much deeper into that, but fulfillment is a big thing. And I don't mean fulfillment like life fulfillment. I mean fulfilling on the promise. I just like the emoji. But fulfilling on the promise that it is you want to deliver. So if it's a custom song product, uh, song package, actually producing the beat, actually mixing for them, actually getting them into your community. That's the fulfillment. And then ascension is after someone's already purchased from you once, getting them to purchase again and getting them to get other people to buy from you. That's what ascension means. So having this entire thing implemented into your music business, how about that? No one does this. Most people are just like, oh, I need to market. I need to market. And then they don't know what the fuck else to do. There's four other steps that you need to do. So that's the major mistake is not having a systematic marketing process. And then number five, trying to do it all alone. This is a major one, okay? Without someone ahead of you that can show you the way, you're doomed to take a long time to accomplish your goals. Your success is gonna have a question mark as to when it's gonna happen. I know that you're, oh, I'm gonna be successful by any means. I'm gonna be successful. I got, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that you like feel really good about yourself and you think you're gonna be successful, but the when is got a big question mark. And you might lie to yourself and say things like great things take time or trust the process. Those things are true and good quotes, but the truth is most people use those as excuses for not achieving their goals. Without someone guiding you and showing you the way, you're pretty much doomed to be stuck. You're pretty much doomed to be stuck. Now, what I want to tell you is just like I told you with my client, Ange, where's she at? Right? Just like with my client, Ange, right? She, my bad. She was by herself doing this before she and I cl clicked up and linked up. She was by herself. She had been, she was able to produce songs, but it was taking her three months to make one song. She came and worked with me. She ended up getting two songs fully produced. That means from a blank logic session, made the beat, write the lyrics, record the vocals, mix, master, two songs in eight weeks. And like I said, got seven production clients 
in just 30 days. About a year ago, I was stuck in my music career. I wasn't making high quality music, and most importantly, I didn't even really know what I wanted to do. That's when I met Lindsay. I signed up for his coaching program, invested more than I ever have in my life, and dove in head first. Having him as a mentor completely changed the trajectory of my career. His mentorship broke a lot of my limiting beliefs around being a starving artist and completely flipped my mentality around. Since then, I've massively leveled up my game as a music producer and built a business that I couldn't have even imagined a year ago. If you're stuck in your career, go look for a mentor. It can be literally anyone who's closer to your goals than you are right now. Mentorship has been the single greatest force in my business and it will be in yours too. So basically where you're at right now is you've got two choices. Okay, you've got two choices. Now that you know some of this information, you can go out and you can try to implement this stuff on your own. And I strongly urge you to take what I've said today and start to shift the way you look at music and the look the way you look at your music business. Or here's the thing, you can go do it on your own and you've been trying to do it on your own. That's what you've been trying to do and that's kind of why you're at the place you're at now. The other option is work with somebody who's actually done what you want to do has already worked with people and has a process to get it dialed in for you. And honestly, that's where I come in, right? So what I do at the Rapid Fire Music Academy is I teach you how to produce music at a pro level using advanced techniques that are actually really simple to do so that you can get great music done fast. And then what I do is I implement the monetization strategy that we're going to talk about in the academy, which is how to come up with a great offer, how to market effectively, and then how to partner up with clients so that they're happy to pay you a lot of money and you're happy to service them. So all you got to do, if you are interested in working with me, awesome. Just click the link below and book a call with me. The call is not an informational call. It's not a free strategy session and it, it, it's free. The call is free, but it's not a, a call where you're just going to get free tips and tricks from me. The idea of the call is you're going to apply and then you're going to actually I'm going to see if you're going to be a good fit for mentorship, at which point if you are, then you can book a call and we can go from there and I can show you some higher level strategies and show you what it would look like for us to partner up. But that's only if I feel like I'm 100% confident I can help you. If I'm not 100% confident I can help you on the call, don't worry. I'll just point you in a different direction. All right. So I hope this video helped. I'm really looking forward for the opportunity to speaking with you. And it's an honor for me to serve you at any capacity, whether it's on this free YouTube video, on other videos, on my Instagram, or if you want to choose to book a call with me. All right. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.